amazing beautiful people and welcome back to another reaction video ah, you already know how much i love millet i think millet is one of the most underappreciated and underrated vocalists in japan and millet is getting more and more recon uh, recognition with the more amazing songs that she's releasing with the more anime songs that she's releasing and it's nice to see that because she's 100 deserves it and this song right here has been recommended by all of you for so long for me to react to is voted for by you guys and that is the fate granddaughter ost tell me so we're gonna check this one out today also millet coincidentally is on 666 subscribers i just thought that's pretty cool i'm gonna stop talking the link to the original video is in the description make sure you guys like the video make sure you guys subscribe don't forget we are deciding whether or not to watch hunter hunter bleach naruto one piece jojo's bizarre adventure or gintama in January 2024, we're going to be starting one of those anime, and we are voting for it currently live on Twitch. If you want to make sure you don't miss out on those votes, make sure you're following me on Twitch. Which one of those anime would you like me to watch? If you want to have a say, follow me on Twitch. Link in the description. Enough of my talking. Let's jump into my first time ever reaction to Millet. Tell me. There is a music video version of this, but I thought it'd be more fun to check out the studio version. If you need me, I'm here. I'll be waiting for you. She mitsuita koega, mada omoita se uto. It's ware naio, machigai da to stemo, kuri kaesh te shmao yo. Mata kotae te nami. Now, Millet just has an incredible voice. Millet just has an incredible voice. I like the accent that she sings in is so unique. I love her like croaky tones. Like I don't even know how to describe it, but her voice melts me. It freaking melts me. She has such such a good voice. Oh, I'm glad I picked this version, man. I wanted to, this is this is so good. So just tell me now Just tell me now oh. Why are you crying now? Nido to amo to let I so let them out Just tell me now Please tell me now Mada koko ni tangai I, just, I might just turn my YouTube channel to a Millet Appreciation Channel. <laughs> There's so many like amazing singers that it's such a shame they don't get more recognition. Millet is like big in her own right, especially in, in Japan, right? Millet is big. But she deserves to be bigger. <laughs> she freaking just deserves to be bigger. She just does. We have conversations about Lisa, Aima, uh, Yoasobi, Ado. Like, those are the big ones. I'm telling you, Millet deserves to be in there. Millet is 100%. I, I think Riona does as well, you know. Flipping Minami. Oh, man. Ah, oh, Japan is just full of so many wonderful freaking singers. It's unbelievable, man. <laughs> so many. Ah, oh, so many. Oh, man. Ah oh, man. Also, if you like Millet's style of singing, I recommend checking out a uh, a singer called Kim Yeji. If you know, you know. So good as well. Very similar to Millet. I need you, I need you right here. The studio is beautiful as well. I like how it's been set up. Very, like, retro. Very simply retro. I like it. <laughs> Random question, but while it's in my head, I'm going to ask it. You know the bottles with the straws in them? Is there any reason that vocalists use these? I see so many singers with those bottles specifically. Can you guys let me know? Is that like a special thing behind them? Or is it literally just a bottle choice? Like, I've always wondered. Because I see, the, basically, the reason I'm asking, I see loads of singers using them specifically with that straw. I was just wondering if there's like a reason for it. Oh, 
誰もいないよでも残ってるの Get that this is from an anime. This is an OST. This is from Fate Grand Order. Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> I like, I literally did. You just, you, you forget. Like, you forget. And now I'm thinking, if I don't know if this is an opening and ending or an OST, but if this is an OST, what the hell happens when this is happening? When this plays? This sounds heartbreaking. What happens in Fate Grand Order when this plays? Please tell me now and touch me now. Will be one of my favorite vocalists in Japan. God damn it, she sounds so good. God damn it, her voice, man, her unique style, the croak, the like, the croaky nature, like that she has to her voice is so good. That like vibration, that gravelly, husky voice that she has. Oh, it's so good. Please tell me now, why are you crying now? I'm not crying. <laughs> it's just I feel you everywhere, so I gotta tell you now. link to this music video will be in the description as well go show minute some love freaking go watch this like a million times man i need you i need you right ah oh, so there's the anime version the lyric version And you guys know something about me. I'm sure you guys have watched my channel for a while now. When someone cries, I cry. All right? So I'm not going to look too much into it because it's going to get me. It's getting me already. Um, but I swear in that shot right there at the end, Minute looked up and there was tears in her eyes. Maybe I'm seeing things. I'm going to pretend I'm seeing things. Otherwise, I'm going to start crying at the end of this video like some sort of crazy person. Okay. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Anyway. There was a lyric version, <clears throat> the music video version, all these different versions, and then there's the special studio live version. And I, you, I will always lean to a live version. Always, always. I know some people prefer X, Y, or Z. Personally, I always prefer live versions. If I'm going to react to a song for the first time, I will lean towards reacting to a live version of the song before the music video. And the reason for that is, if I'm going to listen to a song, I want to listen to the song in like all its freaking glory. Like, I want to listen to a song in all of the raw talent. I don't want to hear it edited. I want to hear its pure, raw-ass form. And if you check out a live version, that's exactly what you're getting. Which is why I always sort of lean that direction. And um, that was absolutely freaking spectacular. <laughs> I, like, my word. My word. I've reacted to Millet live on the first take before, so I've heard Millet sing live, and it just never gets old. She has such a freaking stunning voice. It's such a good voice. She has. She is so unique. So unique. And I love unique sounding singers. It's one of the reasons I, I, I freaking love a doe. No one sounds like a doe. 
Although his soul unbelievably unique in terms of vocal tone and style and presence and everything, that she just stands out above everyone, right? Which is which is one of the reasons I love her so much. You can spot Ado's songs a mile away. And for me, Millet is the same. Obviously not the same like singing style as Ado in any way. They sound completely different. But Millet's the same in terms of uniqueness. Millet with music and sound, especially in Japanese music, is completely unique. If I react to a Millet anime opening, ending or OST, it's completely unique. It stands out so much and that is because of her singing style. Her natural voice, that gravelly, harsher tone that she has with her voice, that 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 natural tone that she has, my word, it is stunning. It is freaking stunning. I love it so much. She has such an incredibly beautiful voice. It just melts your whole damn heart. I love listening to her. I I just do, man. Millie did the free run ending, right? Um, that, that but it's just like it's just. It's just, it's just perfect. She's just perfect. <laughs> the flipping free run ending anytime, anywhere. Are you all right? Can you, like, my word is beautiful. Did she do a special ending as well, right? I feel like she did. Oh. So good, man. So good, so good, so good, so good. So underrated. So unbelievably underrated. What a brilliant song. So this is the Fate Grand Order OST, right? Is that true? The Fate Grand Order OST. Um, tell me. I'm really curious. If this is an OST, what the frick is happening in the anime when this plays? Because this feels devastatingly emotional, which would imply so would the scene, right? Hmm. I'm really enjoying watching Fate. Um, we watched Fate Zero. We're now watching Unlimited Blade Works. We're actually nearly done with Unlimited Blade Works, and then we're going to be watching the free movies, and then that's the main, like, fate story done, right? I believe so. So I am looking forward to, um, I'm looking, I'm looking forward to finishing it. It's been a lot of fun. It's been, it's a, it's a brilliantly written anime, and the music is fantastic, and, and the, the flipping anime itself is fantastic, and the fights are incredibly well done, and yeah, I've really enjoyed it. If you guys want to catch those live streams, we go live on Sunday. Uh, every single Sunday, we watch Fate on Twitch. Link to the Twitch is in the description. And don't forget, we are currently picking either Hunter Hunter, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, or Gintama um, as a anime to start in January. A big. I was going to throw my Hero Academia in there as well. Um, but yeah, this would be one of like the big anime and fairy tale some people were asking for. So yeah, we're starting one of those in January. Which one? It's up to you guys. I'm not picking, and I don't mind. So whichever one you guys want to watch, let me know. I do plan on watching all of them, but we're going to start the first one in January on Twitch. It, But you guys, yeah. And we're, we're going to be voting for it on Twitch. So link to my Twitch channel is in the description. So make sure you follow me on Twitch. Anyway, have yourself an awesome day. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. And as always, my friends, you right there will see me in the next video.